So we're just on our way to the ISOM site now. Um, we've got ground testing, our intrusive tests happening today. So we've got our um, boreholes being done and our circuits being tested. Behind me, we've got our borehole testing, which is essentially trying to understand how solid the ground is. So there is a known load going through a bore, which is being driven into the ground. So if you can imagine, that means there's a known pressure being put onto the ground. And the more hits it takes to push that pile into the ground, the stronger the ground is. So typically you want to meet resistance sort of within the first two, two and a half meters, which is what we've got today. As in the force being driven through the pile is no longer enough to keep moving the pile down because the ground is so strong that essentially it outweighs that force. So that's good. Overall, the initial testing is coming back ideal. They then pull the bore out of the ground and you get a visual um, bore. And then that can sort of be visually analyzed. And again, nothing alarming is being shown. Typically they're looking for signs of contamination. So if it's particularly dirty, particularly dark, can indicate there's contamination. This isn't, it's coming out very clean, very light clay. So yeah, overall the testing is going well. At what point they're hitting resistance or? Get the refusal on the rock head between about 1.8 and 3 meters. Okay. We had one three in that corner, and then everything else the results are just pretty standard. Good, yeah. I'm currently looking for any signs of archaeology. <laughs> Nothing that significant, but got to do some scraping anyway. Can be looking at dirt. So in this sort of back left corner, um, so across the whole site, ages ago, like in 2000. And, uh, 15 they did some pit testing for archaeology and in in all of the pits only the one the back left anything was found and only a tiny bit of it had something and it was more small bits of fragments so nothing that would need keeping on site you know we're not talking so we're not talking time team excavating a body it's more that we're going to need to strip an element of the site and send it off just to be reported to basically say this is what was found in the ground not so much to preserve it it's not warranting that it's more to help get an understanding of the archaeology across the country so we basically got to produce a report saying this is the type of stuff that was found dates back to this time just to give a better picture but i'm just trying to pick up stuff to see i've never really had anything to do with archaeology so i'm not really sure what warrants it. i think that does because that looks like a bit of brick um these might just be stones i could just be covering myself in mud here for absolutely no reason but yeah i think it's stuff like that yeah that looks like it so you can see that's a little bit of a pot or something you can see it's like flat base there a cup an old mug just because of how dense this sort of stuff is i'd be surprised if we found anything below that it's stuff that's sort of sitting very surface level just in front of me here we have trial pits which are needed for our soak away or percolation tests and essentially this is to test the ground permeability so how much that the ground absorbs the water this is needed for our drainage strategy on site so as you can see we've got about a foot foot and a half of topsoil coming out visually and then beyond that it's pretty much clay is what you see here to the right so how it works is essentially they'll dig this they'll then fill it with water and time how long it takes to drain away and it needs to drain away within a certain time period to be acceptable now ours have literally drained away in like five ten minutes so that indicates that the ground is really permeable, so would allow us to have an element of soakaways across the site within our drainage strategy. Again, uh, really good results from the testing today. First one, which is that one in the corner, filled quicker than the IBC could put the water in. Oh. <laughs> uh, second one was three minutes and then five minutes. Perfect. And then the second one was nine minutes and then 10 minutes. Perfect. That guy was just saying the um, trials just confirming they had been filled because they literally don't even look wet anymore. So I didn't know whether I'd misheard him earlier. The pit in the back left, literally they couldn't fill it quick enough. It drained away that quick, so it passed the testing. The back right first trial took three minutes to drain, second one took five, then the middle pit uh, nine minutes and ten minutes. So yeah, amazing. Oh, bless your heart, you've been here so much, haven't you? But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll. We're aiming to now be on site for, what are we for probably like May, maybe late May, June. One of the setbacks for the actual start on site was uh, we've just got to do a little bit of archaeological work. That's why I've picked up some rocks to see if there's anything interesting. I think that might be an old pot. People need homes, in there. And that's the thing, it's no one likes the homes next door to them, but everyone moans that house prices are too high. Wouldn't have picked a worse day. 
<laughs> it was nice and clear. Literally, nice. as we were driving in, it was lovely and clear. And then it's just got worse. It's like we've bought the bad weather from the Midlands. Yeah, I don't look on the yeah I've just driven, um, picked up some rocks, and I'm going to head home. <laughs> okay, well, lovely to meet you. Yeah, and Thank you. you. Well, say hello. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, it will do. Thanks. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks. We're just on our way back to the office now after um, having a look at the intrusive tests. So overall the testing at this stage has gone really well. I was also having a bit of a look for any archaeological matter. Um, I think I found a bit of a broken pot maybe, or I've picked up a rock, one of the two, um, because one corner of the site has got indication of potential archaeological matters. So one of the next things to happen on site after this is we're going to have uh, some scraping done of one corner where um, the archaeological matter is, and that will be taken away to put into a report, which is one of our uh, pre-start conditions with the planning. Pretty sure this one is a lot. That's the sort of archaeological stuff we're dealing with on site. Bits of... Like, I don't know what that is actually. I think that is a rock. So that's it for today's video. I'm just going to finish the rest of the day off at home. Potentially in the next video we'll be looking at the on-site tests for archaeology. Potentially have the tender pack finished and looking to move forward with a contractor. Um, but yeah, see you guys in the next video.